Hey guys, Trevor here with Breaking Muscle. What I want to talk about today is the most fundamental human activity that we do, and that's breathing. You do a lot of it when you're working out, you do a lot of it when you're not working out, but unfortunately, most people don't do it correctly. You can say, how do you not breathe correctly? Yes, if you're staying alive, you're breathing correctly, but there's a couple different ways to do it, one of which is actually healthier and will get more oxygen into your system. So when most people breathe, they breathe in all up into their chest which fills the very top part of their lungs, but doesn't get down to the main portions of it. So a good way to practice breathing is actually breathing into your stomach. And the way to see if you're doing that is to actually turn on your side and look in the mirror. I'm going to place one hand on my chest and one hand on my stomach and see which one's moving when I breathe. If I breathe into my chest, this hand moves, this hand doesn't. But how about if I breathe into my stomach? You see this hand moves, give me a nice little Buddha belly, but this hand didn't. That's the way we want to be breathing, all day. You can exaggerate that by pushing your stomach muscles out and pulling them back in, out on the inhale, in on the exhale, and see if that works. This is a great way to calm yourself down after a workout. It's a great way to take three or four breaths in the middle of a workout and making sure that you're getting your lungs full of oxygen. It's also a great way when we tell people before lifting, fill your, fill your diaphragm, fill your whole body, fill this cavity with air. If you just go up here, you're missing out on all of this. So before we take a big lift, we'll tell people, fill your stomach, fill your chest with air. All of it's full and all of it's tight. Another trick about breathing, if you, if you watch anyone who fights, they all know this. Breathing through your nose is the most efficient way to get air in and out. Yes, we can take a big gulp with our mouths, but what we're missing is one, getting all the dust and other stuff cleared out through our nostrils, and two, the air gets warmed before it gets to our lungs. So you'll see boxers, and they're sitting there, and, and any fighter's taught, as soon as you see your opponent open their mouth, that's when you pour it on, because they're not taking in as much air. So try to start all of your workouts breathing through your nose, and see how long you can keep that up. Give these two tricks a try and we'll see you next week.